the cushions. In this module, you will learn about the history of the cushion empire and the administration and contribution of the ruler, Kanishka. The Kushans, after the Mauryas, are an important dynasty of India. The Kushans were a nomadic tribe descended from Yuchi, which had migrated to India from Central Asia. The Kushans defeated the Sankas and the Parthians, the other foreign communities settled in the northwestern part of India and settled in the Gandhar region. The Kushan dynasty was founded by Kujula Katpisis. Kujula Katpisis united the Yuchi tribes under one leadership. Crossing the Hindu Kush range, Kujula Katpisis settled in Kabul and Kashmir. The noteworthy kings of the Kushan dynasty are Bhima Katpisis and Kanishka. The Kushans have greatly influenced Indian history and culture. The gold coins as a medium of exchange were brought out during the reign of Vima Kantvises. The Gandhara form of sculptures flourished during the time of the Kushan dynasty. Kanishka's rule began in 78 AD and gave way to a new era called the Shaka era. The Kushan dynasty prospered greatly during Kanishka's reign. Kanishka's kingdom spread up to Sanchi in the south and Banaras in the east and included Central Asia too. The capital of this vast empire was Purushpura, present-day Peshawar, and Mathura was a significant town. In Kanishka's reign, the Kushans mainly minted gold and copper coins. Art and architecture were encouraged during King Kanishka's reign. The spread of Buddhism was given special impetus by the Kushan dynasty. The Kushans took the Mahayana sect under their patronage. Buddhism received the patronage of King Kanishka and prospered. To spread Buddhism, Kanishka sent missions to Central Asia and China. Under the leadership of Kanishka, the fourth Buddhist conference was held at Kashmir. Buddhist scholars like Aswagosha, Vasumitra, Sangaraksha and others belong to this period. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on the Kushan dynasty.